everybody. We're here at the 16th annual uh, Bago tournament. Playing for the home team. Yeah. Oh, revival. How does that go? You know me. That's not it. On the Why Tyler always fixing his hair? It's a situation. It does this number. You know, what is going on? Everybody, year. we're gonna celebrate it Good by year. playing a, a game of bago. We not have a different board that we could use, no, this or is the, this okay. is the board. I won last year, so we can start. He's lying. <laughs> He's never beat me in That's anything. True. Something is wrong with you. We always pick activities to compete at that he's like legit good at, and oh, yeah. I never well, win. I know yeah. I can't That's beat him in any activity. A really wise man taught me. You win the bet before you play the game. I start strategizing early, and that's why he's getting ready to get beat. Is it okay if I make all four? Is that cool then? Yeah, 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 go for it. <laughs> I know how this works. Okay, first try. Yeah, it feels, Two. It feels far. That's yeah. Cool. I like how he got to move up for his throw. I didn't get an extra throw. <laughs> and the wind, the wind blow. It's the wind. Just the corner. Oh, yeah, on, in your oh. face. Good shot. Hey, you notice no matter what, it's the LSU bag that goes in. That's true. It's a lose-lose situation. What are the worst New Year's resolutions you've ever heard of? I was gonna run at least a mile every day yeah. for the whole year. Yeah. I made it to March. I was going somewhere. I was running. And then I marched on to not run any miles. <laughs> oh, what in the world? I got pushed. Did you get fouls in this? I tackled by Gaza. Clearly a flop there. No contact, man. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. oh my. Could have been a lot worse. You're very nimble. Oh my. There's a showdown right here. This is the real game. Tight, you're not playing. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, it's good. We might need to restart oh this. Bring an extra set of uh Yeah, it's not that bad. No. Very moist right now. You can't say the word moist. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not allowed to say moist. <laughs> yeah, but if I make all four, it's bag up. You didn't make all four, did you? I know, but I Oh, if you can knock it, made three and missed oh, one all together. Three, yeah. It's not argued. Yeah. You know, sorry. I what, are, what are some good things that we could do during New Year's? What would you suggest people do as far as setting a goal for the New Year? Swim a certain amount of laps every day. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. Look, I made a mistake one year. I, I set a goal that I was going to pray an hour every day. And I think I did that for about three or four weeks, but, but then I started slipping. And then I noticed when I did it, I was just watching the clock, like there was no life in it. Yeah. So I went to my pastor and I told him about it, and he said, man, you shouldn't set a clock to your goals in prayer. You should set your soul praying until joy hits your heart. Some days that might be five minutes. Some days it, it could be an hour, but you stay there with God until you connect with Him. Uh, the joy of the Spirit is interesting because uh, it's one of the fruits of the Spirit. And uh, when, when you sense the Lord is with you, then you're prepared to leave. I had a man recently told me that he decided to pray for five minutes every day. He was gonna get up early and just pray for five minutes, and he did it. And then after a couple of weeks, he, he added another minute or two, and then another minute or two, and then he built his prayer life bigger than ever before. But then after about a year, he, he felt like nothing really changed. And he was complaining to his family about it. He goes, I prayed all year, and nothing really changed. And his whole family said, wait, Dad, it changed you. Ooh. That's what happens in prayer, is that uh, you know, you're, you're trying to get a lot of things done in prayer, praying for friends and different things, but it changes us. Maybe this is why Jesus said, can't you just pray with me? Can't you just seek me? I need you on your face before me. The Bible says first comes humility and then comes honor. The humility comes in prayer. I'm not gonna say something that good. <laughs> that was really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We got some good news. You know, um, NLC Live, our devotionals have been Tuesdays and Thursdays up until now. Oh yeah. But January 1st, Tyler, you wanna tell them? This is it. January 1st, guys. Three days a week, oh! ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do not <laughs> fall in there. Jump. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is hard work, but it's worth it. They love you, they love the word. 
Might as well do it three days a week. Come on. Thank you guys for the sacrifice. That's right. I love it. And Rick's going to be in every single every one, one of them. them. Every one of them. I'm in, I'm in now. Mm. My man. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. They're never gonna believe it is real. Wow. Real. Yeah. I wasn't actually recording that. Huh. Oh, that's the guy. What are you guys saying I know, that? I know. Nothing. Reshow that video of me, Pago. Play the clip again. I said, you better not. You better not. Pastor Rick, if he edits it, I promise you he's not putting any of that in. No. It's not gonna make it. Yeah, it's gonna help. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. Pastor Rick, can you edit? Yeah, I'll edit. I'll edit. <laughs> 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 okay, thank y'all for coming. Happy New Year, Pastor Rick. Where's Tyler? He's here. <laughs> <laughs>